Welcome to UAD Basics. In this video, we'll be going over a powerful feature for Apollo interfaces called Channel DSP Pair. Apollo interfaces let users run UAD plugins in real time, which enhances the entire creative and recording process and makes mixing much simpler. Plugins are loaded directly into Apollo's DSP and managed via console, which is the control software for all of Apollo's features. In essence, channel DSP pairing allows users to harness the power of two DSP cores for a single input. This means you can load larger plugin chains or multiple DSP intensive plugins on your inputs, giving you more ways to shape your sounds while still enjoying the low latency that Apollo has to offer. To get the channel DSP pairing feature, simply download the latest version of UAD software from uaudio.com. Once you've installed the software, open console and you'll find that you can load more plugins on your input channels than ever before. The feature is managed via the channel DSP pairing option in console settings. Under the hood, channel DSP pairs use the I.O. resources for virtual channels, so as channel DSP pairs are added, your virtual channel count is reduced. If you need to adjust the number of channel DSP pairs or virtual channels, simply click one of the buttons to change the value. A maximum of four channel DSP pairs can be used on rack mount Apollos, and a maximum of two pairs can be used on Apollo Twin. The setting is managed separately for each Apollo and multi-unit systems, and is saved with console sessions for easy recall. Now let's look at channel DSP pairing in action. When enabled, channel DSP pairing is automatic. Just insert your plugins into a console channel, and resources will be automatically distributed across the paired DSP cores. Here's an example. Let's say I want to load both the Fender 55 Tweed Deluxe and the Korg STD 3000 Delay on my guitar input. At a sample rate of 44.1, the Fender Tweed uses about 70% of a DSP core, and the Korg STD 3000 uses about 35%. Together, they exceed 100%, so they can't be loaded on a single DSP core. If no channel DSP pairs are enabled, and I try to load both of these plugins onto the same console channel, the second plugin I attempt to load will be disabled and trigger a DSP resources exceeded message. Now let's try loading the same combination of plugins with channel DSP pairing enabled. If I go back into console settings and enable at least one pair, I'm now able to load the Korg delay on the same channel as the Fender without an issue. Behind the scenes, console has bridged two DSP cores together and one plugin is now loaded on each core, allowing me to use a combination of plugins that I wouldn't have been able to before. The remaining resources of both cores are still available for additional plugins. Note that when a channel DSP pair is in use, there's a slight increase in latency across all Apollo inputs in order to maintain phase coherency. However, console's input latency will still be significantly less than if monitoring through the same chain of plugins in your DAW. Here are some final details about channel DSP pairing. Channel DSP pairing is available on all Thunderbolt and USB Apollo interfaces, and is supported at sample rates of 44.1 through 96 kHz. Pairing is not available on AUX or TalkBack channels, and is not compatible with Aero or Apollo Twin Solo. That covers everything you'll need to know about using channel DSP pairing. Now have fun loading bigger and better plug-in chains on your Apollo inputs. We'll see you next time.